Please, so, let's begin. Prijan, opening prayer. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, dear Heavenly Parents, we're very grateful to be able to come together, to be able to study your word and to understand your heart. We pray that you can be here as we share together. Now, this is really a great opportunity to be able to know the truth, to understand the truth, to recognize about our true parents, to recognize about you, our heavenly parent, how your desire is really for one family, one family centered upon you, our heavenly parent, one family of all humanity that we can feel as brothers and sisters, that we can really embrace each other in love. You're, you desired from the very beginning a family that you could embrace. And now we are living in a time of dramatic change and turmoil and chaos, but also a, a world of hope and vision and beauty. We know that your world is, go, is going to be realized through you know, brothers and sisters who understand your heart. So we ask your presence as we listen to Reverend Yamada you know, share about father's life and father's course and, and about the history of our providence. And we ask that your blessing be upon us all and that we can really feel you know, your love you know, permeate into our lives. I offer you this in our collective names and in our names, John and Shizu and me as a blessed central family. Adieu. Thank you. Adieu. So last time we spoke about kind of a global preparation for the coming of true parents and their global mission to address the really the unprincipled nature of <clears throat> communism and the evil of free sex. And we saw that, you know, this was kind of their global, very much their global mission and uh, should have been accomplished within the seven years from 1945 to 1952. Now that mission has been given to really our true mother. And she has kind of focused on these next seven years, 2020 to 2027, almost like a repeat of those uh, seven years. And Mother's talking about a global you know, uh, world where one third of the human population can come to her. We see a neo-Marxism coming up. We see the, the, the strange variant of, of sexuality now emerging in these. Again, Mother wants to take on these responsibilities. But today we will talk specifically of why Korea uh, as a nation, their culture, their history, their character, how God had prepared these people specifically uh, to give birth to both Father and Mother Moon, because children are born not just from their parents, but from the culture and the history, the ancestry, the spiritual world, and it is, really is a very special nation, as we talked about just in the beginning. So let me introduce you. Reverend Yutaka Yamada, and uh, I heard his presentation at the Blessed Couples Workshop where he talked about the importance of the marriage blessing, and uh, he himself has a really deep commitment to the marriage, the issue of marriage, and to Father and Mother Moon's mission, and that's why he was chosen to be the sub-regional leader of the Oceania region. Let's welcome Reverend Yutaka Yamada. Welcome. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Sovi, Dr. Kito, Reverend John, and Reverend Stone. I'm really happy to join this team together and every day, every time. I'm really excited to meet all of you. And also, of course, uh, Mr. Sovi, I'm really excited to meet you every time. Thank you. So today, I am the one who share the message. Is okay? What? I think a little this connection is just one. Yes. Not yet. We don't see the screen yet. Yes. Can you see? Yes. Yes. Um, can, can see. Yes. Why God sent Father and Mother Moon to Korea? Exciting. Yes. Let's begin. Yes. Okay. So, 
Good afternoon, good morning, evening, everyone. Thank you for joining today, the sharing. So today, uh, my topic is why God sent Father and Mother Moon to Korea. So this is talking about Father and Mother Moon and then history and also talking about Korea. So until now, almost, I think around eight or 10 sessions, we are having the learning process from the beginning about God's plan, God's hope, the principle of creation, human fall, and all history we are learning. And until last time, Dr. Kittel also shared for 400 years preparation. Then now we are going to, um, to Father and Mother Moon to Korea. So a little bit, I will review leave, leave again. Then I will go to the main topic today. So main title is the why God sent Father and Mother Moon to Korea. So I want to review again, I think, Mr. Sobi already understand everything, but we can yeah. share again. Awesome. <laughs> it's good, it's good. It's yeah, good. yeah, yeah. Of yeah. course, every time review is important. Yeah, every time. So we don't so forget. Can you recognize this one? Is Adam and Eve. Always our important point is the God's hope, God's purpose, and God's plan. So before everything, there was God's plan and God's hope. So God created all things, universe, earth, animal, creation, everything. And finally, God created one man and one woman. That is Adam and Eve. So we know this story well. And we can see they are the first son, first man and first woman. And also they are the God's son and God daughter. So we can say, they are also Adam and Eve, but we can call they are only begotten son and only begotten daughter of God. So when we think about Adam and Eve, how much God's expectation, God's plan, and God's hope was there together with them. This is very important things because this is our starting point. So what do you think? What kind of imagination or what kind of plan God had toward Adam and Eve. Maybe, Mr. Sobi, what kind of plan did God have to, or what kind of expectation God had to Adam and Eve? Can you imagine? Of course, of course. <laughs> There's a lot of things. God, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, expectation is a lot of yeah. things, a lot of good things from Adam and Eve. Yes. Yes. So God really planned many kind of expectation, especially they are only begotten son and daughter. So that's why as the parents, now my son, my daughter is coming and they are growing up. How much his love, his hope and his wish together with them. So when God see Adam is growing up, Eve is growing up, God really have a many kind of lovely heart, happiness, and expectation. So we know the result because they committed sin. But if they didn't commit sin, then what's happened? If they did, did, did not commit sin, then Adam grew up well. Eve also grew up well. Surely they get married mm -hmm. together under blessing of God. Then when he became the husband, if she became the wife, if they become the couple, then they will have a children. They will have a family. They will have a tribe. Then these all people become expand and expand. Then they will create a nation. They will create the world. So this is God's original hope, wish, and this is the desire. That's why God created Adam and Eve and all things. So this vision, this hope, and these wishes never change. So God have this kind of hope. That's why God tell them, be fruitful, multiply to dominate all things. Please grow up well. Please get marriage well. Please have a good family. Please dominate all things. This was the God's blessing to them. But what's happened during the growing period? Eve was tempted tempted the snake actually snake is symbolized of archangel 
archangel tempting Eve, then commit sin. And after that, Eve tempted Adam, and also they committed sin. Because of that, they could not stand as the children's position anymore. So they were kicked out from the Garden of Eden. We know this story. So what is the commit? Wh what kind of sin they commit? Actually, this is the sexual relationship. That's why God most important things is the lineage. They are direct children of God. Their lineage is God, God's lineage. God's son, God's daughter, and direct God's lineage. That's why they are as the begotten son, they are as the begotten daughter, they are growing up under God's love. But because of fall, what is fall? Because they uh, destroy God's lineage. They lost the God's lineage. This is the sadness. That's why many religions say God is almighty God, omnipotent God, and strong and grateful God. But in the same time, we have to understand God is actually having the heart as the parents. God loved children so much. God loved Adam and Eve so much, but God lost own children. How much God was painful. This is actually real God's heart. My son, my daughter, almost they are grow up. They will get married soon, but almost last moment, the archangel who God trusted most, he betrayed God and he take out Eve and Adam from God and make the sexual relationship, they rape them and they almost kill them spiritually. This is the God's heart and sadness. That's why we have to understand what was really God's heart. So this is the starting point. So first ancestor, first God's son, God daughter was going wrong. That's why all human history is going wrong and suffering history. So most important things is God lineage. Actually, God really wanted to see my own son and my own daughter. This is the starting point of history of human beings. And actually, this is a starting point of sadness and the miserable things. So after they committed sin, they could not stay in the Garden of Eden, then they were kicked out. But actually, Father Moon said, they are not kicked out. Actually, God was kicked out. God wanted to stay together with his own children, but they betrayed God. They could not understand the parents' heart. They left, they betrayed, they had God's heart, parents' heart. That's why there is the most miserable or sadness separation. So when we see the history, even Adam and Noah, Abraham, all important figure, why they face and suffer, they will go to the suffering course because God mm -hmm. is the one who has suffer most. That's why all people who are chosen by God will go to suffering course miserable cause, but because through this miserable cause, actually they could find God's real heart. So this is the starting history of the Adam and Adam's family. And this is a starting point of the history. So when Adam and Eve were fell, betray, they left from God, but from the moment God started to have the providence to call them back. I want to get my children back. This is the motivation of God and motivation of the history. So already we have a several session from Adam's family, Noah's family, Abraham's family. This is the biblical history. Original history, maybe more than more 20,000 years or 50,000 years or how many thousand years, I'm not sure. But when we see the Bible history or Jewish history, or there is a traditional uh, historical time period, we are talking about 6,000 years. This is the uh, biblical history from Adam until current age. That's why from Adam to 
uh, Jesus time, we are talking around, I don't know, from the Adam to Adam to Moses time or Abraham time. That time period, we are Bible talking about 2000 years. So this is also Jewish, also talking about this Muslim and the Christianity, they are using uh, same, uh, same holy books. So this holy book, Old Testament age, this holy book is talking about Ad Adam's family until uh, Abraham's family, total 2000 years. I'm not sure in Mandayanism, is there <laughs> some clear age from Adam and to yeah. Abraham? I'm not sure how many years you are talking. It's, when Diane talk, uh, Mr. Taco, as we have, uh, one day I will, you know, we get the right book. We have that exactly. It is, they know it is 445,000, 445,000 years, more or less. 440, oh, almost half a million years. Yes. Wow, half a million oh, years yes. history of human beings. Human being, yes. Yeah. Since, yeah, Adam, so, uh, uh, Father Adam, yes, yes. So, mm -hmm. really, Mandayanism also sharing the history, but those yes. person who are coming in the story in the Bible or yes. Old Testament or Mandayanism, I think similar or same person is coming. Same. That's why same. I think this 2000 years, yeah. this history, especially yeah. this Adam to Abraham, maybe this is kind of a symbolical yeah. years. But when we see those history, uh, we could see how God was working together with each center of figures. That's why with Adam's family, Noah's family, Abraham's family, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, those family already we learned together. So through this providence, God always stayed together with them and give the task to them. And they, some part victory, but some part fail. So we could see those histories coming on to find God's son and God's daughter. So during 2000 years period, finally, uh, Abraham's family, uh, the, the Abraham's grandson, Jacob, successfully fulfilled his mission. So this is one first victory in the family level. Then next, because of Jacob's victory, God gave the blessing to Jacob. Your laces, your future descendants become the chosen people. So you can call your race, your tribe as the Israel. So that is a starting point of Jewish. That is a starting point of Israel. So when they receive this kind of blessing from God, they started the new history. So when we see the Jewish history, their starting point is in Egypt. Maybe we know about Egypt story, Moses or Joseph, those story. So when they started of the history of Jewish, in the beginning 400 years, they are so much suffered under Egypt as a slave. Then after 400 years, because of Moses, they came out from Egypt to find a new nation. So this is the starting point. So 400 years suffering as a slave and 400 years Moses and also different time period, 120 years, Saul, David, Solomon, those people are king of Jewish nation. Maybe Israel nation, maybe you know. And after that 400 years, divided kingdom, north and south. Even they established a new nation, but they are divided because of conflict between them. After that 210 years, they are also a captivity. Some day uh, became the slave again under another country and return back. And the last 400 years, there was time period to prepare for the coming Messiah. So this is the 2000 Jewish history. I think this Jewish history is almost same year, not just a symbolical history, but this Jewish history 2000 history is almost the same year with uh, real history. So this during 2000 year period, what's the purpose of 2000 years is to prepare, welcome the Messiah. So that moment when Jesus come together with John the Baptist, right? John the yeah. Baptist, Jesus, Zachariah, or many important people, 
together, all of them are prepared by God as the chosen nation and chosen people. So this 2000 history is actually preparation moment for welcoming Messiah, welcoming begotten son. So what is the starting point of our human history? God's plan was to send begotten son and only begotten daughter, Adam and Eve, but they could not fulfill their role as begotten son and begotten daughter. They lost their position. That's why God tried to send again for his only begotten son and begotten daughter. So when we see the old history, actually God's purpose is clear, only one reason, how I can send my begotten son and begotten daughter. So 2000 years from Adam to uh, Jacob, 2000 years from uh, Jacob to Jesus, purpose is clear, how I can, how God can send begotten son, begotten daughter in the world as God's child. So we could see those history. So what's the purpose of Jesus and begotten son and begotten daughter? If they come this world, what kind of mission, what kind of role they should have? This is the role because originally centering on God, Adam and Eve, they get, they grow up well, they get married, they have children. If they could have a ideal family in the beginning without fail without betray without committing sin they became the god's family already then they could make a god's society god's nation and god's world but because of their commitment commitment of sin they lost everything then centering on satan all adam and eve and all children became the satan child satan's family satan's society satan's nation satan's world that's why if begotten son and daughter came this world, they have to change from Satan's world to God's world. This is the purpose. So even Jesus came this world, so his purpose is the things. So when we see his story and his, his history, we know well, I think even the Mandayanism you are mentioning, he is also some kind of the prophecy figure, right? Jesus, yeah. together with John the Baptist at that time. Yeah. So how was his life? Actually, if Jewish people welcome him well as the chosen people, he could become the king in the Israel and he can work together with Roman Empire and he can work together with all over the world to fulfill God's will and God's love and God's blessing to give to all human beings. But what's happened that moment? All our uh, Jewish people that time, they could not recognize the meaning of Jesus or identity of Jesus. Because when we see the history, they are actually expecting Messiah, our savior, as the savior or as the king of Israel. Their concept is only that. But what was the Jesus position? Jesus position is not only the king for Israel. He came as the father, as the parents, as the also God's representative to embrace all human beings as the one family. But Israel concept was different. If Messiah come, if savior come, they will save me. They will fight with the enemy. They will kill with the enemy and we become the number one position. Maybe this kind of concept they have. That's why when Jesus come, love enemy and embrace the enemy, they could not accept this concept. And finally yeah. he went go to the cross. That's why many Christians say Jesus came for crucify. Jesus' purpose is to die on earth. Many Christians say like this, but actually this is not real purpose. Why God sent Jesus this world? If God, Jesus have to die on this world, then no reason to prepare the Jewish people more than 2000 years. 
just send anywhere, then people can kill him. Yes. So <laughs> we know the history that Judah, yeah. Judah, Judah, you know Judah, right? Yes, yes, yes. Judah yes, betrayed yes. him. Yes. And almost Judah is the one who killed him. Jesus. Yeah, well, student, right? Yes. Yeah. If Jesus' purpose is die on the cross, mm. then how was Judah? Judah is kind of the most contribution person for Jesus to die. But yeah. how? Who will appreciate Judah? No one appreciate. People are thinking Judah is betrayed. Why yeah. they think? Actually, Jesus' purpose is not die on the cross. Mm. Jesus have to uh, be alive and get married and become true father and true mother, which uh, Dr. Kittle already gave this lecture, right? So <laughs> Jesus said, I will come again. So originally <laughs> Jewish people were chosen person by God in order to welcome begotten son and begotten daughter, but because they could not fulfill. Mm. So this mission was moved to another religion. So this religion, central religion is a Christianity. But anyway, each religion have a special task, special role and special mission in Mandayanism. What is a special, special mission for Mandayanism, Mr. Sobi? What is yes. the speciality? As a Mandayan. Well, and you you explained it very good, actually, uh, Mr. Otaku. Uh, the really, you know, uh, Jesus become as we said, like Jesus become to live like a, a son of God to show the world he is a peaceful person, not to come and die, you know, in the cross or something. It doesn't, yeah, exactly. You said it right now. I don't know how you, you know, mm. this is um, yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. As we know, the Jesus, Son of God, He become to show the world, you know, like because at that period, many people they get out of, you know, out of the right thing in this world. They're doing bad things. They don't believe in that and this. So He sent them Jesus to do the right thing, to get married, to show the people uh, how He is good, uh, how they will be to live together. As you know, as as a family, one family, we said how how you know he, he didn't accept anything wrong. Yeah, Same thing, yeah. yeah. This is the way you explained it exactly, I think, yes. and that that's what we believe in actually. Yes. Even yeah, even John the Baptist and his his cousin. Same yes. thing. Yes. He yeah. couldn't do yeah. wrong thing. That for you know they uh, they kick him out uh, very quick and they kill him yes. very quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's yes. Why Exactly. Last time period was very important time period. Jesus time, John the Baptist time, Jewish time, yes. all people are very important time period. They had lived that time. Yes. And because yes. of they could not fulfill. So Jesus said, I will come again. And God's providence was providence was postponed. So exactly. they Jesus went through the suffering course as the uh, difficult side. So prepared environment at the moment, centering on the Israel 2000 years ago, Jesus time, actually all environment was prepared already in the Jesus time, already Buddha was born in India area and even Confucian and the Roman empire, Roman empire's way will lead to all over the world. This is a famous uh, word. Roman's power is already connected to China by Silk Road. So if Jesus and Israelites can unite together, then Israel and Jesus can uh, also uh, take over or unite with Roman Empire. And if Roman Empire welcome Israel, Jesus, John the Baptist together, then Roman Empire can work together with China, India, and all over the world. That's why already in Jesus time, Already the kingdom of heaven on us was fulfilled. That was God's preparation and God's plan. So not only Jesus, all religion was there is the important. The Hindu, Buddhist, Confucian, each religion have a special role or a special mission. But one central figure 
could not fulfill their role, then even they are ready, but all providence should uh, become a postponed. So 2000 years ago, actually, the very important moment was ready by God, but because of many central figures failures, this providence was postponed. So we could see the next history. So if they fulfill, how much great? So loving your enemy, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. So until last minute, when Jesus on the cross, Jewish people, actually, he came to love them, work together with them. They are prepared by God, but finally they kill Jesus. But what was Jesus' word? Even they killed kill myself. But he said, please, Heavenly Father, God, forgive them. They don't know what they are doing. Please forgive them. I'm okay. I can die anytime, but please forgive them. So this attitude is really son of God. This attitude is actually only begotten son. So we could see so may, many people receive liberation and save, saved by his sacrifice. That's why Christianity started from his, not his cross. After this, he resurrected. So because of his resurrection, all Christianity history was started. So Jesus crucified. So all history was different. Buddhist going to the Eastern side and Jesus and Christianity going to the Western society. So this new history was started at that time. Okay. Then those providence is moving from Israel to the next nation and next people. So when we see the history, 2000 years history from Adam to um, Jacob, Jacob success, but from Moses until Jesus time, they pre God prepare the foundation for the Messiah for 2000 years. But because of failureness, this 2000 years preparation was lost. Satan uh, take away this 2000 foundation. That's why God have to prepare again for 2000 years. So this is the Christian history from Jesus time until this uh, Lord of second advent. So second coming of Messiah. So this central story is by Christianity. Yeah. So before Israelites and this uh, Lord was moved to Christianity. So we could see the Christian history. Actually, when we compare the Jewish history and the Christian history, we can see all elements was same. 400 years, Jewish people was suffering under Egypt. Mm -hmm. And how about Christian? Christianity also suffering for 400 years under Roman Empire. Yeah. And after that, G Jewish people came out from Egypt for 400 years. Mm -hmm. Then how about Christianity? They are liberated also for 400 years. They Then after that, uh, the Jewish people found the United Kingdom, centering on the King Saul, King David, King Solomon. In the same time, Christian world, they also created the United Kingdom, 120 years, 120 years. And even they could fulfill, establish the United Kingdom, but because they fight each other among them, that's why their nation was divided. So Jewish nation was divided between North and South, Christian nation was divided East and West. So these are almost similar cases. And Jewish after that, 210 years, they uh, became the uh, slave under another nation for 210 years. Christianity also same. This group uh, uh, became the slave for two, 210 years. Then after that, Malachi, this is the prophecy in the Jewish side came. And after Malachi for 400 years, Jesus came. And Christian society also same. Martin Luther came in Europe. Then after 400 years, this preparation time period was prepared. So this 400 years we studied last time by Dr. Kittle. So really those, when we see the history, we can see the parallel, totally same. That's why 
how we can see the God's work through the history. Actually, we can see how God is working directly through human's history. So from 2000 years and 2000 years, then we could guess when our second coming of Messiah will come. So Father said, Jesus' love brings salvation. The cross alone does not bring salvation. You must know that it is the power of Jesus' love that overcame the cross that brings salvation. So these things. So those history and finally, uh, the Bible also John uh, said, for God so loved what? the world that he gave his only son. So anyway, God sent his only begotten son on this world. So when we see the history centering on religion, all culture, economy, politics, science, ed education was developed. So Christian society centering on Christianity, culture, economic, education, politics, science was developed. Centering on Buddhist, centering on Hindu, their culture, politics, science, education, economic system was created. Maybe Mandayanism also same. Centering on Mandayanism tradition. There is culture, there is politics, economy, education, and science. All system was developed. Centering on religion, moral values, right? That's why really when I heard uh, Mr. Sobi's story, yeah. you are from ancestors. Your most important things is to keep the lineage, right? Yes, yes. Husband, yes. wife, love each other of and course. keep yes. unity and love family. This yes. is the tradition. The and this important. is the moral value and this is the core point. Yes, yes. That's why. Yeah, actually, um, you see, there is, as we, as I believe on, we believe, you know, and uh, the Mandayan believe, you know, there is no bad person in this world. As a human, we are all good. Every human is good. There is no bad human in this world. But the problem is how he think. Yes. How he is uh, calculating his life. How he is. But bad, there is no bad at all. And then as we know, God, every time, as you said, every 400 years, whatever, uh, because we cannot put our, you know, like Mandayan there, because that's, it makes a lot of confusion for the world. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a big thing. It's, it's a very big thing. Otherwise, everything will be, has to be demolished and then re again, yeah. which is very, very bad. We don't want that because as you know, Mandayan, they believe only there is, this world is just, temporary yes, and yes. then we go for the real world yes. and Mandayan they don't need nothing here in this world yes, yes they don't want to you know have things or own thing in this life yes, because yes. this is a dream as you know mm -hmm. or yes, yes. Uh, for example look at our father moon who is you know how much he done maybe hundred times better than us or thousand times better than us he done a lot of good thing in his life and then he there that the, his house is there not yes, here yes. No, yeah, so yeah. That, yeah that for you know uh, if we go to own thing we have to fight for it to yes, own it yes. and then when we fight it's going to be bloodshed it's going to be suffering it's going to be a lot of things mm -hmm. so a real person who believe a real believer this is his way he yes. should not think nothing will be on in this life Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then I think, yes, I mean, uh, I'm in this direction. And then, you know, I, I don't know, God maybe send me to you, to the UPF or to Father Moon and Mother Moon now, because I believe in that 100%. Yeah. That's always God sent somebody to do the right thing in this life. Yes. Now, I think Father Moon, for example, he is the one of God sent him here. Yeah, to this yeah. life because as you say that period of 400 400 400 we never we can't have the whole history what been before also yes. but we are now we are alive we can see we can see father moon we can see mother moon what they are doing we can see upf what's going on mm -hmm. this is 
This is another mission. This yes. is mission from God. Hundred mm. percent. Yeah, each person have a, each religion have a special mission. Yes. So I think really Father Moon's message and also the yes. Mandaism you are sharing almost same. Our yes. purpose yes. and goal is not physical world preparation yes. for the next world. Yeah. This is so, the thing. Like uh, as a, you know, always I'm for a joke. I say like Father Moon, he was being Mandaian, but he is. Uh, yeah. he is like, <laughs> this is a joke, but it is true. You know, he is uh, like a prophet. Yes. I mean, we never know, but I feel this person is a prophet. Simple as that. A prophet, this is the way for a prophet to do the right thing. You see, after he left to the heaven and now see his family or all of you, all of us, what we are doing now, you know, we follow, which is, this is a great thing. And, yeah. you know, I pray for Mother Moon to be yeah. saved and very long, long, long life, you know, for her. So we can, you know, learn more and we sacrifice more uh, you know from here yeah. so yeah please uh, so, Mr. Otaku. Yeah, each religion have a main core principle so yeah. because of uh, this influence to make a culture politics economics so because jesus case because he could not get marriage that's why this uh, western society started from christianity of course there is a good point but some point they are em emphasize more individualistic part, individual mm. salvation, individual things. But this is uh, not original God's ideal. That's why Mandayanism is talking about lineage, family, couple. This is really a special role you have to show to the society and the world. So God's ideal of creation is not fulfilled yet. So if Messiah come, have to change this society. So what will Messiah do? Those fulfillment, individual perfection, family, and all things dominion. So this is uh, already we emphasize universal ethics, universal moral, and ideal society. We have to fulfill that. This is the three great blessing, three purpose: mind, body, unity, man and woman unity, and man and all things unite together, centering on God. So each Christ, each religion or also waiting the center of figure, second coming, Messiah, true man, Maitreya Buddha, Imam, Abbata. So those figure should come. Yes. Okay. So first Adam was originally become ancestor, but he fell. Second Adam also, Jesus could not fulfill. That's why also begotten son and begotten daughter have to come again. This is important things. So when he will come, so almost this time period, they have to come. So our, this uh, calculation anyway, talking. Then uh, father and mother moon come to on the earth as the also father and mother moon and other true parents of heaven, earth and humankind, they come. But why were father and mother moon born in Korea? So. Uh, we have to share about this one. So this is the mother's autobiography, Mother of Peace. So she is mentioning about Korean people, that Korean people have a great mission. Yeah. So this is the mother's autobiography. The Korean people's 5,000 year history is filled with deep sorrow. Foreign powers constantly marched through Korea, trampling us like wild grass and leaving us stripped like the bare branches of a tree in the coldest of winters, but we never lost our roots. We overcame foreign invasions with wisdom and patience and survived as a nation. And of this, we are proud. One cannot help but wonder why God allowed these people to suffer such great, such great hardships. I believe it was to prepare a people to whom he could entrust a great mission. So when we see the Korean 5,000 year history, they are so much suffer because of invasion from foreign country, from China, from Japan or several countries. So for almost 5,000 years, they are facing challenging suffering may many people are die and they are in miserable situation so this is the korean history 
Then mother say, why God allow those people to suffer, to attack Korean people, to give hardship to Korean people? Then mother said, I believe it was to prepare a people to whom he could entrust a great mission. Mm -hmm. So when we saw the history of the central figure, Jewish people or Christian people, or even Mandayanism, or even each religion, why they receive many kind of challenging persecution or difficulty? Because God is the one who are in suffering position now. Even God lost everything. God was betrayed the person who love. So all prepared person, God's person is going to the suffering way in order to connect, in order to accept and entrust the great mission. That's why when we see the Korean people's history, we could also understand how much God prepared, how much God loved this person and this nation. And mother said, we learn from the Bible that God's chosen people always endure a uh, great adversity on the foundation of Noah, Abraham, and other providential figures. God prepared the people of Israel as the ones to whom he could send the Messiah, Jesus Christ, facing rejection. God had to allow Jesus to suffer great trials and hardship and to finally offer his life on the cross. 2,000 years later, God chose the Korean people and entrusted to them his only begotten son and only begotten daughter, the ones who can receive God's first love. God needed the men and women who could endure suffering and rejection while continuing to forgive and love all people, thus revealing God's heart of parental love. So too, God needed a nation capable of enduring suffering for the sake of all nations. God prepared the Korean people for this. Many peoples have suffered and disappeared from history, but the Koreans endured. Thus God entrusted these people with a noble mission. So mother, through mother mentioning and sharing through her autobiography, why Korean people face this difficulty. This is same as a central figure in the history because of God's prepared person, chosen nation, chosen people, those people went through those places. But God know that they could endure suffering. They could endure and overcoming all rejection in order to forgive the people, in order to love all human beings. That's why there is God's love, God's wish together. So this mother also talking about the Korean people, how they could overcome and carry on and endure for a long time period. So this is some another book, some American professor mentioning, testify about Father Moon. True Father had a conversation with a professor, Son Tech a professor at the Harvard University on February 3, 1977. At the time, Santec asked a question about a special reason that true father thought Korea was chosen for God's will. At the time, true father said the following about the history of Korea. Korea is a country with unique characteristics in several respects. First, the Korean people are a single nation and at the same time, a nation that longs for unification. Second, Koreans are very religious. They have a deep understanding of religion by nature. Third, they understand pain. Koreans have had to go through endless trials and tribulation throughout history. Under these conditions, Koreans have developed an Im immortal spiritual foundation with a spirit of loyalty and devotion. So this Harvard University professor also testify and father also mentioning about three points. Korean people are single nation, one lineage, 
one only, only Korean lineage, they are really protected until now. And also, second is really they are the religious people, believe God and also respect heaven. And also third, they could understand the people's painful heart because they face all difficulty. So father also mentioning about meaning of Korean people. So why Korea is the chosen people? Korea is a nation that longs for unification as a single nation. The Korean people are a persistent people. Throughout history, Korea has been invaded 932 times by China or Japan. Although Korea has been invaded 932 times, Korea has never invaded any other country. The suffering of Koreans due to foreign aggression was difficult to describe in word. So even Korean people was invaded by another nation, but they never invaded another nation. Korea is religious and has strong faith even before established religious religions such as Buddhism, Confucianism and Christianity were introduced. Koreans who had already worshiped heaven through unique ritual had an innate religious gift. And over the course of history of Korea, several dynasties emerged and disappeared. However, whenever a new dynasty was born, the founding ideology of that dynasty was always based on religion. So even in Korea, there are many kinds of dynasty was organized, was born and founded. But always, any kind of dynasty, they believe God, they respect God. Even they don't have religion, or even religion yeah, yeah. was not entered Korea yet, but already Korean people believe God, respect heaven. That's why Korean nature is different. They have kind of the strong faith foundation already. And Korea is object country of God's heart. Your father says that the reason Koreans have suffered such bitter pain throughout history was to understand God's suffering. Who experienced the fall of man? There is a Korean proverb that says, the widow knows the widow's heart well. Your father emphasized that the Korean people are the only people who can deeply understand God's heart and comfort God because they face or challenging difficulty. That's why they could understand God's suffering heart and sadness. Yeah. We can see that. So Korea, a lamp of the East, in the golden age of Asia, Korea was one of its lamp bearer. And that lamp is waiting to be lighted once again for the illumination in the East. So when we see all religion, religious history or birthplace, almost all religion was born in Asia, right? So this Asia, this area was really prepared by God. Islam, Jewish, Hindu, Taoism, Christianity, Buddhist, Confucianism, and Mandayanism. Every religion was almost born in this Asia, this yeah. place. So yeah. how much God prepared already a long time? And second coming in Korea, China, Russia, Korea, Japan, so that kind of history. So why Father Moon, Mother Moon was born in Korea? History of faith through suffer. So we could see Korea was invaded over 900 times, never attacked another country, maintained faith, one God, Hananim. So when we see Korean national anthem, even now, inside of Korean national anthem, there was the word. God, they really respect God already in the national anthem. I'm not sure in Australia, there is word of God in national anthem or not. <laughs> no. No, yeah. right? What, what we have? <laughs> not, doesn't have? <laughs> but Korea how? Well, even God, we believe they, that, but, you know, sometimes, yeah. Not in the even they are religious people or non-religious people, but they are singing Korean national anthem, yeah. they believe God. So nature is different. And yes. all religions have flourished in Korea. So Buddhism, oh, Christianity, many religions also came to Korea. So Korean people also accepted any kind of religion. So that kind of religious foundation was there already inside of their nature. Yeah. 
Yeah. So Korean history also came. This Catholic also Christianity also came. So many religious also came to Korea and fought for coming. Protestant also came. Confucianism came to Korean Peninsula. It was history. And also front line between communism and democracy. When we see Korea after 1953, Korean Peninsula was divided, North Korea and South Korea. So North Korea is almost a communist country. They don't believe God. And South Korea is believe God, democratic country. Because when we see the history from the Adam and Eve time, already from the beginning, God's side and Satan's side, Cain's side and every side was separated. Mm -hmm. That's why in order to fulfill God's plan and vision, Korea Peninsula itself is showing inside of Peninsula, there is Cain and Abel, some Cain and Abel, God side and evil side staying together. That's why if Korean Peninsula can unite, overcome, embrace, mm -hmm. and become one, this become the God's vision and God's hope and showing how to embrace. That's why now Madam Moon is emphasized about heavily unified Korea, how mm -hmm. to unite between North and South Korea, because this nation is a symbol of division of the world, communist nation, or the group who doesn't believe God and the group who believe God. So Korea is also symbol of this world. We could see that. And also national indemnity period. So first Israel, Jewish people suffered for 400 years and Christianity also suffered. And Korea itself also 40 years suffered under Japanese occupation. So all uh, nation and group was suffered. They go through the suffering period. Mm -hmm. And prophecy of the Messiah in the historically, in Korean historical book, they are talking about Korean born king of perfect goodness and truth will lead the world. So even prophecy mentioning about the messianic figure will come to Korea. So those things. So you could see this knife. One of the, their tradition, they are really protect the lineage in the history of Korea. All Korean uh, young lady always keep this knife. Do you know why they are keeping this knife? To kill the husband? Yes, yes. <laughs> what? <laughs> what did you say? To kill the husband. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 So, to defend the husband. <laughs> <laughs> why they keep their knife? All children, young yeah. lady, keep this one because yeah. in order to protect their lineage. Yes, exactly. If we have men, the same. Yeah. Men come and try to rape them. Yeah. Before rape them, they have to kill themselves mm -hmm. in order to protect the lineage. Yes. That much Korean people respect, they understand the meaning of lineage because yes. this is a starting point of sadness of God. Yes. Adam yes. and Eve yeah. lost God's lineage. That's why emphasize to keep purity and even kill my own life. Lineage is important more than own life. So this is a tradition in Korea. That's why Korea was really prepared nation by God. Yes. So when we see the history, which religion, which person is really keeping purity, or well, they know, they understand the meaning of lineage. This is really chosen by God. That's why I'm sure Mandayanism was a special mission. Keep purity. Yes. And they are keep the lineage. Yes. And yes. they are protect yes. family, right? This True. is a really special law. 100%, 100%. Yes. So when we see the Korean history, even, even you ask any Korean people, they know their ancestors' family tree. Like Mr. Sobi, you know, 33 generation something. Yes. Korean people also same. They know their yes. generation. Yes. It's the Yon's family, Kim's family, Lee's yes. family. They know I am the 17th generation. I am the 20th generation. They are really... Oh respect the lineage because yes. 
God's most important point is the lineage. Yeah. So even Korean tradition, they are showing us how much this lineage is important and they are protecting continuously throughout the history. A small Korean knife called uh, Yun Jang Do, life rally, uh, silver knife. These yeah. are generally thought to have been worn by women as utility, utility knives for self-defense, self-defense or to take their own life when there was no other option yeah. that much Korean yeah. people protect the lineage. Yes. So this yes. one. So yeah. how much they are serious to keep the lineage? Yeah. I'm not sure I can give this knife to my children, right? <laughs> <laughs> you can give your children if you are face challenging, you kill yourself. Yeah. So Korean yeah. tradition, that much they are strict. Yeah. If someone attack you, you yeah. kill yourself. This is the tradition. That much they yeah. protect their lineage. Yeah. So uh, the, mis the a good tree cannot bear bad fruit, and bad tree cannot bear good fruit. That's by their fruit, you will recognize them. So when we see the people's result, uh, action or activity or attitude, we could see they are really good person or bad person through their result, through their fruit. Yeah. So I will say a good tree cannot bear bad fruit and bad tree cannot bear good fruit. That's by their fruit, you will recognize them. So a qualification of the Messiah knows the reveal the heart of God, express the origin of evil and suffering, teaches a new understanding of truth, harmonizes all races, religion, and nations. So conclusion, this is Father's autobiography. Father said, my mission in life is to build a harmonious world full of peace and love. That is the reason for my very existence. This is father said. So this is the father and mother moon was married in 1960. I have worked to bring God's love and truth from the family to the world level. I and my wife now stand as the true parents of all humankind. That's why father moon and mother moon really sacrifice their life to embrace beyond the religion beyond the races, beyond the nationality, because all people are children of God. Just they could not recognize God is own parents. That's why they are initiating to teach them. You have to understand God is the parents. You have to understand our heavenly parents. So whole life, they are sacrificed to telling and guiding and showing our God is parents. Our heavenly parents is our parents. So peace loving global parents, father and mother moon, and continuously true parents of heaven, earth, and humankind. So our true parents. So through this lesson, God never give up. Even God lost the children, Adam and Eve, but God never give up. Common characteristic of messianic figure, different age, but same mission, culture of unjust suffering and best preparation for the Messiah. Each religion, clearest understanding of the Messianic figure, true parents are the model, but we should all become avatar, Messiah, true man and Messianic figure. And we should become also true parents. So that is the main conclusion in this message. That's why God prepared all religious people, God prepared all chosen people and God prepared Korean people for welcoming Messiah to parents, begotten son, begotten daughter. But those things is not only for Korea. God prepare the person for all human beings and to fulfill God's will and really release and liberate God's sadness, painfulness, and bring all people back to God and our heavenly parents. That's why our father moon and mother moon sharing all investment, effort and love continuously 
And now we are come together, uh, Mr. Sovi, Dr. Kato, and Reverend John, and Reverend Stone, and ourselves come together. And we are also have a same mission together with Father Moon and Mother Moon and all people together for our heavenly parents, for our God. So today I share all history, especially centering on Korea and Father Moon and Mother Moon. So we have to learn well and we have to stand as true parents, stand as God's son and God's daughters, and we have to share the blessing to all over the world. So thank you for joining today. So let's do our best. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> it was very nice. Very good. Thank you. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you, Yutaka-san. You prepared well and delivered in a very passionate, clear, and a powerful way and connected with really Mr. Sobi and his, his heritage that we also honor. So let us invite Mr. Sobi if he has some thoughts. I'm sure he always does of, of, yeah. as he takes notes and uh, is learning. We are humbled by your humbleness, Mr. <laughs> Sobi, to sit and listen. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs> yes, actually, um, it's very interesting as, uh, you know, from long, long, uh, when I first started to be, you know, with the UPF, I feel this kindness and this goodness in them, in all, actually. Uh, yeah, as uh, Mr. Otaku today explained, it's beautiful about, you know, Father Moon. This is something, against. there is a very big relationship between Mandayan, I think, and then, yeah, the Korean, Korean, as I hear today, these things, it's main, it's, it's like a Manda 100% Mandayan. <laughs> yeah, honestly, Mr. Uh, so I can't, this is really, because everything I see, it just right. Everything I wanted to say, you just say it. Now, already you say it about Korean. It's mean they are Mandayan or Mandayan, they are Korean. It's the same. They are coming from one part, I think, honestly. I don't know how to, you know, to prove that, uh, but this is what I feel. Feeling is most important thing, I think. Uh, yes. People, they don't want to harm. They don't want to fight. They've been suffering, you know, a long, long time. Uh, well, you see, we said like God sent this. No, it's not suffering. We call it it's suffering, but it is for a purpose. It's a, for a good purpose. People, when they suffer, it means they are good people. When they've been invited, you know, like invasion by 932 time, this is big thing. This is a great thing. Like for them to be even, you know, better and better and better in, in, in spirit. So they are clean. And then they believe in God, which is, this is a great thing. Like mm -hmm. all the nation, all the human, they know there is something beyond it. Always we think, there is something beyond this life. Mm -hmm. If we have religion, if we don't have religion, people who is, they don't believe in religion, they don't believe in that. Mm -hmm. But any people with religion or a good people, they don't know how to deal with religion. They don't know how, they don't have like, uh, like they don't have structure for religion or uh, they get lost somewhere in this life. Mm -hmm. But they got the feeling there is something beyond us it means there is a god and this is all this beautiful thing in father moon and mother moon and the korean people i mm -hmm. feel when i went to korea mm -hmm. with mr stone at that time it was beautiful you know and we uh, been uh, 2019 before that pandemic yes i was there short time for a few days but i feel like this is I've been maybe born here or something like it goes into me. I love the whole country. <laughs> I can't believe this. Yeah. So there is always connection in this life. There's always something in the heart, I think. That's what I believe in. It's nothing for nothing. When you love somebody, it has to be that person is good. That's it. When you love him, it means there is something. When you like 
obey him and you are, you know, you don't need to be, you know, to obey him. But when you obey and you say, yes, there is something for you with him. Okay, like, like a normal day when you go and find somebody, you know, maybe good, he love in your face, he talk nice, but you don't, you don't feel in love with him. You know, I always say, hi, how are you? And then that's it. You don't want to see him again. But there is, this is the connection between human and God. This is the connection, the love, the faith, I think. And all these kind of good things in this life. Mm -hmm. I think there is, this is, that's for we are together now. Mm -hmm. I think that's what, why we are here today. How we are sitting now, we are discussing all these, the good thing. We want to hear about Korea. We want to hear about the world. We want to hear about that. This is a love. And this is the uh, really a true faith in our heart. And again, you know, again, I'm say like, uh, I'll say again, God will will give us what we want for sure. Uh, before we go from this life, I think mm -hmm. we're going to see a very, very strong, you know, uh, very strong emotion things from the world for uh, for UPF, I think, mm -hmm. because this these people what I have seen. There is nothing I haven't seen mm -hmm. in my life a better people or that they can match. Nothing. Mm -hmm. I mean, with my job, as you know, you know, I travel a million times around the world. I go everywhere, mm -hmm. all the countries, politicians, mm -hmm. everything, everything mm -hmm. from mm -hmm. the from the kings until the normal people. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen that right selection people, you know, the best selection and the good people in, in UPF. And I was, when I was in Korea, I come, till now, I'm so happy. Until now, I feel the goodness. Until now, I feel the love. All the people when I was with them, you know, mm -hmm. they are so good. God bless them. You know, the people who was, you know, with the UPF or our guests, it was from outside. It was so good. And I think everybody who followed uh, like 99% of the people who follow and comes to UPF and their, you know, their conferences and their things, they are 100% good. Yes. <laughs> yes. Thank you very much. Yani. Today, I mean, whatever I talk, it will be not finished, but, uh, you know, it's all in my heart. Well, I love you all. Thank you. We love yes. to hear you and love to listen to you. Thank you. Yeah, true. This is, yes. Thank you. That when you said that you haven't seen really a better people, that is yes, sir. We are. I'm. I'm scared to hear that. <laughs> no, true. Yeah. True. Because, yeah. Doctor Kettle, this is true. I still not here. I'm not talking here only. I talk to the world. I mm. talk to my people all around the world, and then. Every time we go or we have you know meeting like this, many people they come, they join a lot of people from outside their friends or the same thing I talk. And then sometimes, you know, even my people they say, Mrs. Sobi, what happened to you? Are you pulling love in, in what? There's something you want to do there. <laughs> I said, believe me, no, but I love these people. They are right people, they are classy, quality. I don't know, they are faith, faith in their hearts, they're working good the good there is good and bad this is these are the good ones that's it and god <laughs> gave me these people <laughs> and i'm happy <laughs> amazing I'm so proud i believe me. i'm so proud to have you all honestly i'm so proud thank you yeah thank you thank you again we're we are also proud and humbled to be with you john can you share some thoughts as you had listened to <laughs> reverend Parker's today. wonderful presentation thank you yeah. Yeah, it's uh, thank you, thank you, everyone. Yeah, I was uh, uh, just uh, uh, astounded by uh, the, the such a good quality presentation from Revenue Taka. Yeah, he really covered uh, uh, so much detail uh, about yeah the, uh, how uh, Korea really is uh, a chosen nation. There's so many uh, chosen people and that's that's the thing about chosen people it doesn't matter what time there was always someone chosen 
but how, and there's a variety of people chosen, but not many actually succeed, yeah. and therefore God can really you know embrace and love. And very few people succeeded. When we look at human history, it's really been uh, basically it's not people helping God, but people basically prolonging what God wants. It's really a simple thing. He wants to embrace us as his family. But we just keep missing the point. We keep missing that he's not talking about us. He's talking about everyone. And then we think we don't realize that everyone is really everyone, you know, people in Africa, people in China, everyone. And, and uh, like you said, everyone is good. You know, Mendeans absolutely believe that people are good. It, but what we don't have is we don't have knowledge. We don't have God's truth. You know, we, we are so ignorant and so arrogant that we think that our small area is all there is. And that's why you know, religions that came to bring goodness to everyone fight each other because they think their religion is the only one. But it's not the only one. God didn't create religion. He created Adam and Eve. He created a family. He created us to be brothers and sisters. We created religions because of our culture, because of our isolation, because of our language, because of our, you know, uh, our own different educational ideas. And like you said, each time there's a prophet and prophet comes and to give God's truth. And do the people believe the prophet or not? I mean, if we went down George Street here and there's a guy with a big sign saying, yeah, repent because the end of the world is coming, mm -hmm. everyone just walks past, ignores it, thinks the person's crazy. Uh, and that's the, the problem with ignorance. We are happy to be stuck in our ignorance. We're happy to think that that's it and how to get through it. There's not many people that get through it. And Father and Mother Moon are one of the first people to be able to stand as the true son of God, the true daughter of God, who finally did what Adam and Eve didn't do and created a family that God recognizes as true. And then from that, you know, the lineage of God will expand. But it needs us to share the news with everybody so that you know, we can all happily receive the blessing as you've done, as we've all done here, and that everyone else can receive the blessing. And that blessing is to be free of ignorance and to be fully immersed in the love of God. So I think you know, recognizing this time and, and the value of our true parents, you know, we are one family. Like you said, the, the Koreans are Mendanes. The Koreans probably think that that the mandates are created. <laughs> so it's all, all it's all the same. Yes, absolutely right. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Right. Thank you. Excellent. Yes. Oh, Greg. You're sitting next to yeah. Mr. Sobe, you must have had oh, a lot of insights this by is osmosis. My yes. <laughs> Dr. Kettle, I call Mrs. Stone. He is my shadow. Wherever yes. I go, he is with me. He is helping me <laughs> all the way. I was in Korea everywhere of my life. You know, yes, he was really. I can't believe. I can't forget this. What he done, honestly. My God. God bless you, Mrs. Stone. Okay, Mr. Shadow. Yes, my shadow. My yeah. shadow. <laughs> yeah, when we were in Korea, we um we had some beautiful meetings actually, and uh, Mr. Sobi was so, um, you know, uh, I don't know, people were very attracted to him. I remember um, we met uh, George Augustus Stallings, and um, we sat down, and it was something like a spark happened there between the two of them. Oh, yeah. It was just amazing. Really. Yes, and then, amazing. Yeah. And every time they meet, it's like um, brothers, you yes. know. And then yeah. there was another man who was from, um, I think, uh, Iran. Yeah. He was, yes. he was working in Hollywood, Hollywood. to yeah, yeah. Uh, bring together you know, more moral and family-oriented um, film productions. Yeah. 
And um, once again, beautiful meetings. Every everyone we yeah. met. The one like from even... Israel, the, the gentleman from yeah, Israel, Israel and everything. And, and then from Turkey, mm. from all kind of the, I mean, yeah. you know, that's the sort of yes. I'm sorry. But those meetings, and I think uh, Dr. Kittle and any, and all of us who know uh, Reverend Yitaka and John, <clears throat> those meetings create a kind of a, an environment that you can't really find anywhere else. It's like it's like a little bubble, and then. You've got people who are Buddhist and all different oh, religions, beautiful. and then, but there's something there. It's like the presence of God is there, and yes, you just feel like one family under God is already there. Yes, you know, and yes. you can't yes. really find that anywhere else. It's no. really amazing. Yes. <clears throat> yes. But uh, one other thing that I just want to say, um, I actually had the privilege of living in Korea, uh, 1990 and 1991, for nearly two years, and. Um, I can say that coming from Australia, where we don't we don't really um, understand about, um, <clears throat> I guess, vertic what we call vertical tradition or filial piety, that's probably one of the biggest takeaways I came away with yeah. when I look into the Korean culture. Yeah. I can remember one, <clears throat> you know, one um, boy. He was probably about twelve, and he he was in the street, but he he just sort of did a full bow in front of his elder brother uh, to honour his elder brother. And then uh, the tradition of, of going to the grave and honouring like um, Chusok, uh, I participated in all these things. And then New Year, you know, bowing to the grandparents. And, <clears throat> you know, it's just amazing the kind of uh, lessons, internal lessons. I think that was one of the most precious times of my life to actually live there for two years because in the Australian culture, you just don't find that kind of thing. I think that's one of the greatest gifts that Korea can give to the world. And that is this idea of filial piety. Yeah. It's really the root of um, love and respect for your parents, for your grandparents, for your elders. Uh, and this goes back to the love <clears throat> that we should have for God. And um, I see it in the Mandaean culture too it's a very very beautifully prepared yeah. culture and religion it's just um it's just uh focuses on the purity the family you know the the right traditions and uh, the sac self sacrifice uh, constantly yes. yes and also the incredible persecution they've had oh. terrible persecution over oh. so many years is yeah. like and yet they don't respond with with hatred yeah never they, they, they don't, they don't oh. respond with a sense of revenge yeah. Uh, it's a very, actually very, very unusual and, and beautiful religion. Yeah. You love, actually, mm. uh, love anything you cannot buy, mm. anything in this life you cannot buy, it's great. Mm. So love you cannot buy. Yeah. Faith you cannot buy. Mm. You have to own it by sacrifice, by goodness, by love. Yeah. So, yes, that for when I say like when I was in Korea I was really, really I impress and I love mm. this nation, these people, uh, because I love them. Uh, they didn't buy from me. I didn't buy that from them, but I've seen you there. Mm. I sit down with the people there mm. and then I love, I give, I give them my heart. Mm. And then, yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. Anything, anyhow, anything you cannot buy, this is the thing. And sacrifice, you cannot buy it. Even your children, you cannot buy your son love. Mm -hmm. you, it's not, it's there. It's mm -hmm. the faith or the love from God. You cannot buy whatever you do for him sometimes. It's nothing. Yes. Many people, I hear stories about their children. Whatever they do for their children, they can't get nothing back. You know, uh, they think even their parents as an enemy. But in fact, they don't have that. They are good, but they don't have that love. They don't have that gift from God mm. in their hearts. Yes. So that's the thing. Yes. <laughs> so yes, uh, as um, you know, as UPF, as these beautiful people, as Dr. Kettle <laughs> in front of me. I love this face when he <laughs> comes here. And then yes, <laughs> and then <laughs> Dr. Young. <laughs> What can you say? Yeah, whatever you say, you know, and look at me like <laughs> here. When they come to me here, it looks the whole world with me. I got just, you know, like 
for me, for example, I got, I got a lot of family here. Like we are almost 400 people, very yes. close family to me, very close. But see, you are my family now again. You know, this is in top of my. And then they told me, they said, well, we're talking about all these people. Even we sit down with the boys, I talk about. They say, Dad, what are you talking with these people? I say, this is these my people. This is my way. This is my love. You know, I love them so, you know, like you, like anybody else. Say, yeah, that's very good. You know, they'll be glad too. You know, they, they, um, because yesterday, last night was talking, you know, they've been here, most of them. And then we talked and talked about the same thing. Mm -hmm. Every time I sit down, I, same story I'm going to bring, you know, the UPF, we do that, 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 that. <laughs> yeah. So it's, it's a good thing. The good thing, you never fed up from it. Everybody love it. And then, yes. I think I think at the end this Korean is yes, it's a good people. It's very good, yeah. really good, yes. And good faith. I can tell you can tell the faith. Yeah, mm -hmm. they have the faith. Uh, yeah, respect, respect also you cannot buy. Right? Yes. No yes. way. Yes. You have to work for respect. Mm -hmm. You have to go through years and years and years from your life to get respected. Mm -hmm. It's not like that. I don't come and respect somebody just like this. I have to work yes. years <laughs> to be respected. This is huh? so. Yeah, thanks God. I think we are lucky to be together. I think we are very lucky people. But I hope and I pray every day now <clears throat> this world will be open again, so we can see yes. each other again, we sit down yeah. near each other's face to face. I know like this, yes. Uh, but let's like a TV. This one, yes, it still make the difference. Thanks God for that technology, but. When we come together, it's a different thing, you know, different feeling. Yes. Yes. So, yeah, God bless you all. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I'll share a few thoughts, if I may. Um, first of all, thank you, you, Takasan. You kind of really stimulated all of us through your presentation. Uh, it was very well. And Mr. Sobe, your comments. Um, the one thing that I really took away from Yutaka's presentation at the very beginning when he said, you know, God didn't kick Adam and Eve out of the garden, but really God was kicked out of the garden. Uh, and that kind of, that struck me in a very powerful way because I've always thought the other way around, kind of, you know, metaphorically speaking, but uh, that concept that, you know, God was expelled from the really the love that he wanted the garden of love the family love that he had wanted um john when you talked about you know religious the ignorance that we have and we need to overcome um to me it's the religious people that have to lead and model this and this is what father and mother moon are trying to do is bring together a coalition of all religions so that they can speak with a common voice on the issues of family, on the issues of morality, on the issues of you know, global significance that have to be addressed at this time. So it's, it's kind of a, an awakening of religion and religiosity and the coming together of all religions. I, I thank you for that. Greg, uh, when you talked about bowing, I'm, I was thinking of Mother Moon and the three years after Father Moon passed away, she did a condition of every day going to his tomb and offering prayers every day for three years. I think I've never done something for three years consistently, <laughs> you know, my whole life. Oh, that's... And uh, <laughs> that level of dedication and devotion uh, is, is, again, a characteristic of the culture and of their commitment. It's not just an individual thing. They, Americans couldn't do that. Three years? No. no. Three weeks? No. Maybe not. You know, three days? Mm. Maybe. I don't know. But um, <laughs> it's, that's a huge kind of testimony of the, of the character of the Korean people, that that tradition. It's not hers alone, but she said it's a tradition of the Korean people that it's normal that they would do that. So normally the son would do that. It would be the son that would visit the elder son, would stay at the gravesite of his father for three years, but she has kind of done that 
on behalf of all of us, and we should be doing that for three years. Did we remember Father mm -hmm. Moon's passing for three years? Did we pray every day for three years? Um, then we have to look at ourselves and kind of repent and reflect. Mr. Sobi, when you're talking about the Mendean people, my it stimulated me to think that the Jewish people, the Korean people, and the Mendeans are very similar. They're a small group yeah. of people. They're not big. They're persecuted intensely. They're religious deeply in the nature. And they're peace-loving people, not resentful or retaliatory, even though the persecution is unjust, unprovoked. Um, and they don't seek revenge. And I'm thinking yeah. that why is it like that? And I'm, I'm kind of trying to think, I believe these characteristics come from the love and honoring of lineage. It's kind of an expression of that. If you're individualistic, then you don't have these qualities. You can easily retaliate. You can easily be revengeful. Yeah. You can easily be, you know, secular. Um, but if you have this, the centrality of lineage kind of brings these qualities to these people. And that's why they could survive. That's why the the Jewish people, the small people persecuted in the Middle East could survive. The Mandaeans, the small people persecuted, but they survived. The Koreans, the small people persecuted, but they survived. So within this, this concept of lineage is central to even the survival of the race of the people. If they lost that, I don't think that, that those people could survive. Uh, individualistic, I don't, I don't yep. think so. So anyway, this has been a rich, a very rich, uh, time together, uh, the good exchange. Yutaka san, would you like to offer some comments as well as you hear our comments on your presentation? Yeah, thank you very much. I think your comment is really uh, supported more deeply uh, each message because all message, but actually detail, really through father or through mother sharing is really deep. This is just one part of sharing, but actually very deep contents. That's why I think really is based on your realization or your experience. Really, we have to put more and really can develop more contents to ideal content to share the people. So I'm really appreciate uh, all of your comment. And I'm also want to learn more and want to inherit from your input, your sharing. And also I want to learn more. So anyway, I'm really appreciate you join together and have a time together. I'm also learning and yet I'm inspiring through listening your comment and your sharing. So anyway, really thank you for your comment. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, very nice. Mr. Sobi, would you yeah. like to share some thoughts as we close? Uh, no, actually, uh, I mean, um, today was really very good luck, you know. I thought like when we say first 12th lesson, we're going to take the same thing. I thought it was before I was thinking 12th lesson, what I'm going to learn from that. But really, if you want the truth, I love it more and more. I want to do more and more now. <laughs> like I don't want to end that. I don't want to end be just 11 or something. Has to be more and more. This is really good. Uh, like I enjoy it. I wait, like, you know, every one Thursday or every second Thursday. I wait especially for this moment uh, because I really enjoy be you know, together. And then I, I feel, you know, not far from, you know, at least I have Mr. Stone and Mr. John, Mr. Taco. At least these, you know, mm -hmm. I can see them because you are far away from me. And then we see, you know, each other on TV. Uh, but, um, yes, I really enjoy you uh, every every time you are doing this uh, uh, gathering it's, a, it, it's 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 fantastic and then i am educated more and more uh, yeah even if i get one word of that it's enough for me just you know to add in my you know what i know so it is nothing uh, because when we was in korea 
I, you know, one, one friend was there and then somebody is talking. They say, oh, we talk like the same day. I say, yeah, he said like every day. I mean, the same thing, yeah. same thing, same thing. I said, no, but it is good, I think. He said, no, because you knew now, you know. I said, we'll see. But until <laughs> now, I don't know. I feel so comfortable and I feel every day in you for me, which yeah. is very good. Really good. I, I appreciate that. You know, you are waking up all this time now, you know, of the night, 2.30, now it's almost 3.30. Uh, you go to sleep in the morning or not, which is, this is great. You know, mm -hmm. you're sacrificing, we, you know, uh, Mr. Otako, Mr. John, Mr. Mm -hmm. Stone, they come all the way from Sydney here every day, they're driving, you know, go back again driving, and then, you know, uh, especially now it is winter and then, you know, mm -hmm. uh, dark. So, yeah, God bless you all. I'm, I'm very proud of you. Thank you very much for that. That's all I want to say again. Okay, thank you. Thanks, sir. Uh, before we close, let's have a group photograph and we need to get John and Mr. Or, uh, Greg and Mr. Sobe together. Yes. And then someone can yes. push a button or click a mouse or something, whatever they do. Maybe yeah. they're going to Can you take photo? Yeah. yeah. One, two, somebody push a button. Three. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That, Greg, um, can we ask you to close in prayer, please? Sure, sure. <clears throat> yeah. Our dearest, loving, uh, heavenly parent, parents, thank you for another lovely session today. We, we could share uh, with Mr. Sobby and with uh, Dr. Kittle right across in uh, Chicago and um, <clears throat> across the miles, we've been able to have a beautiful sharing. We really felt your presence. We felt your instructing each of us. We felt you, your ideal. And uh, we just feel really stimulated to, to work uh, with mother. Mother has now, she's um, getting old. She's now 78. She's, she's yet, she's working so hard and fulfilling the vision that uh, <clears throat> began with, uh, with, with her father and mother moon and uh, your your dream we pray we can realize many great things coming into this future we pray for the peaceful reunification of north south korea we could hear today that it was the prepared people but <clears throat> the ultimate goal is to bring peaceful reunification as a model for the unification of the world we we pray we can make great progress this is what you want us to do people from all all over the world, people of different faith come together as one family under God and bring about your original ideal, which you had in the beginning of a world of peace, set it on you where you can dwell with us and you can express yourself in our families and, and across all cultures. So please guide us as we, we work together now, set it on mother, that uh, we can really bring great fruits. Uh, we pray you, you can guide us to this end. Thank you, I pray and report in the name of Greg and Rako, Storm Best Central Family. Adieu. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Very nice. Yeah. Yes, a very rewarding time together. Thank you. Yes, sir. So then the, from the Australian side, you'll set up the next session and we'll discuss among ourselves the topic and the presenter, right? Yeah. yeah. All yeah. right. Yeah. So Okay. Thank you. So we say good night or good morning. <laughs> yes. Good day. Bye bye. Thank, thank you, so you for spending time with us, Mr. Sobi, John, Greg, Yutaka-san. Thank you. Thank you.